Welcome back everybody. In some other videos I've made, I've had people notice that I use a lot of Google apps on my iPhone. One of the primary reasons I do is because I'm always switching phones. I'm either on a Google Pixel or on a Samsung Galaxy device or like the iPhone. So I wanna make sure I have a cross-platform experience so I can use my Google Calendar on different devices. Same thing with Google Keep, so on and so forth, because I can't use Apple Reminders on Android. I can't use Apple Notes on Android. I can't use Google Podcasts on, I'm sorry, Apple Podcasts on Android. But with all that being said, if you have an, if you have an iPhone, I do recommend that you use Apple apps. And the biggest reason I say that is because, well, number one, they're designed for iOS. And also you will notice Whenever you come over here to your Apple store, you tap on it, you'll notice like whenever you have a lot of Google apps, they always need to be updated and watch. I'll just show you really quick here what I'm talking about. I'll come here and we're gonna just show you this real quick. So here I am. So you'll see right here, what needs to be updated right away? Google, Google Maps, Google One, so on and so forth. What you will never see needing to be updated is the Apple apps because the Apple apps are updated within the iOS version themselves. So you always get a stable and basically very useful experience. Now I'm gonna say this real quick. So say you are on an iPhone and you're wondering, well, hey, you know, I wanna give the Apple, I wanna give the Google apps a, a try. Well, there's nothing that says that you can't use both. So I use Google Keep and I use Apple Notes I prefer Apple Notes because it's a more uh, more arranged process. I got the folders there. Things are things are just right. Things are good right from the get go. If I go and I open up Google Keep, uh, I'm not. I can't open it right now because I just can't put stuff in folders just for it to show on the very front. So everything's going to be a big uh, kind of a big convoluted mess until I hit the hamburger menu and I go over to my labels. Then things are organized. All right, next Apple Reminders. I love Apple Reminders. It's, it's a very, very straightforward process. Once again, everything's extremely organized. And I like that about Apple. Uh, Apple just seems like they were, it was made for people with like, you know, for neat freaks, right? Whenever you're using an, an iPhone and you're using all of the Apple, uh, Apple services, it seems like it was made for people who really, really appreciate just things being where they need to be. Now, all that being said, you see I'm using Apple Podcasts. Well, I used to use Google Podcast on the iPhone, but they got rid of the Google Podcast and they threw it in here into YouTube Music. And I don't like it very much at all. And it's not, you can't find all of your podcasts on there. I, I guess they're still trying to figure something out. You still got to copy and paste RSS feeds and all that crazy stuff. With Google Podcast, you didn't have to do that. And with Apple Podcast, you don't go through none of that nonsense. It's a very straightforward and easy process. All right, and that's another thing. I like Apple Music as well because it's very straightforward. It's an app, it's a music app, period. That's simple as that. All right, so now as far as like the Google Calendar versus the Apple Calendar, I made a video talking about that. And yeah, you see them both on there. The one thing that I do not like, hold on real quick. The one thing I do not, here, I'm glad I did that. The one thing I do not like about the Apple Calendar is it doesn't like give you little previews of what's going on. Now I know on iOS 18, it's going to do that. That's what they say. But as of right now, you just get like a dot, right? So it's like a guessing game of dots. So you gotta, so if you actually wanna know what's going on there, you gotta tap and press. Now, if you wanna see what's going on over here on your Google map, it's pretty, uh, you get you get a little bit of a preview of what's going on. I got a VFW meeting coming up, my friend Keith's birthday, Independence Day, Belinda's birthday, so on and so forth. It's a very straightforward situation. I guess you, you could call it that. Now, also, people have been asking me, Apple Maps versus Google Maps. They're, they're both terrific. Apple Maps at this point has really stepped up their game. Now, Apple Maps is a very, to me, it's a very, let me come over here just to make sure. Okay, Apple Maps is a very straightforward situation, right? You tap on it, and it also will give you more information that, that you need Google Maps, on the other hand, you can do, and I mean, look, and that's also its strength. You can do a ton of stuff inside of Google Maps. But when I'm in a big city and I'm kind of say, I'm a, maybe I'm under a little stress, <laughs> there's a lot of traffic out there. I'll use Apple Maps because it's straight to the point. And it just, yeah, it's just, I'm just saying right there. 
Google Maps works extremely well on an iPhone, but for me, it's about that simplicity, all right? Now, I'm always talking to you all about how I edit videos and things like that on my iPhone. I use iMovie to edit videos. iMovie does terrific. I should probably make a video, but anyway, iMovie does a terrific job. Now, Apple News, Google News. I use both. I like Google News because, well, let me come over. You guys can see I was just over here doing a little searching. I like keeping up with all the current events. I like the way it's organized. Come over here to following. Come over here to library. Come over here to view my, the topics, the stuff I'm interested in. All right, you can see all that, what I had going on there. And my my new sources, right? The stuff that I want to the stuff that I want to follow, I have them organized and they're there like that. It's very basic, very simple. Apple News is uh the same way a little bit here. Let me just check something real fast. You never know sometimes I don't want no private information coming up. All right. So Apple Music, it's it's all right. It's kind of like the the same thing a little bit. Come over here and you can hit whatever you're following. It gives you all the list of your following, stuff like that. You got your audio, your sports, news, plus, and all that. I do recommend using Apple News. Say you're an iPhone user. Look, and if you're and look, and you're an iPhone user, I do recommend just use your app, use your Apple apps. Say you don't have any intention of ever using an Android or nothing like that. Go ahead and just stick with your Apple apps. I mean, for the most part. I mean, I'm not saying don't you can't. I'm not saying that you can't install both. But you know, just just to clear up any confusion, just go ahead and use your Apple apps. For me and to me, they're they're. They're a more organized experience, and at the end of the day, you guys have probably noticed I've talked about that a lot. I, the one thing that I really like about Apple and iOS and all that is the way it's organized. Now, we come over here. You know, you can use all these other Apple apps. As, I mean, I'm sorry, all these other Google apps as well. You can see the Google apps that I have on here. And the primary reason I do do that is I'm a tech reviewer, and I want to know what these different Apple apps are doing. I use Google Chrome. Um, Google Drive, of course, because I, I have stuff in my drive, and I primarily, years, 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 and years ago, I started out a Android user, so yes, Google Drive, I, I live and die by it. Google Photos, yes, that's where I back up all of my photos, will come over here, you can see all this right here, yes, that chat, the me, all that stuff. Google Assistant, use that. Um, Google Tasks, I use that as well. I still prefer Apple Reminders, but like I said, I do all of this mostly for experimental purposes so anyway um this is a special request video by the way if you all have any uh, special requests let me know hit me up in the comments um i love doing special request videos for you all and um yeah well that's gonna be it for this video and here we are with the 80 van halen guitar this was also a special request all right everybody thank all of you for watching and i will catch all of you in the next one bye